Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how to kind of strip away some of the data that we don't need uh, so we can kind of speed up processing and some other things along the way. Now we are going to look at uh, Dane County and our class. And so we have a set of data uh, that we could select by a location to export data then that is only within or touching Dane County. To do that, we have something called Dane County Municipalities. And if I drag it in here, uh, you can see that it shows up and it kind of disappears. So if I go back to my draw order, because remember, I'm currently in my source view, uh, I can put that on top. And what this does is this is all the municipalities within Dane County. So what I can do now is I can do a selection where I select just the census blocks that intersect this because uh, remember there is some overlapping geometry so I want to select intersect because uh, when we do our population per square mile we want it to be correct and I'll show you in a minute when we're done why that is uh, so we're going to go up here to the top and do a selection and select by location I'm going to move this into the center so we're going to select features from our Wisconsin blocks it's going to intersect Dane counties municipalities in this case, we're just going to leave the default, so we want to intersect the source layer feature. Uh, but feel free, uh, as you're doing your own projects, you can kind of explore uh, some of the different ones within here. Uh, you can also select within a certain distance. But I'm going to hit Apply, because I like to be efficient. And if I have to make a, a fix, then I don't want to have to come back into the dialog box. But you can see here, I'm OK, so I'm going to click OK. And to make this permanent, remember, I have to right click on the layer, go to data, export data. And you can see I did not get the option of selected features. And why is that? Because I accidentally clicked it, clicked on Dane municipality. So I'm going to cancel that. And I'm going to right click on the Wisconsin block data, export data. So this is the critical component, export selected features. I'm going to leave it as a layer source, and then I'm going to put it in the correct spot, which for me is in the process data vector folder. So I'm going to call it Dane County. So I'm going to abbreviate County Census Blocks. And this is 1990. And I'm going to put a version number at the end, one, uh, because I've already done this uh, in class once. So make sure it's a shapefile because we are working with shapefiles. Click Save. Click OK. Yes, I'm going to add that back to the map. And then I'm going to clear my selected features. So you can see how long it kind of takes to regenerate and on slower machines it'll take even longer. So you can imagine when we do joins or zooms and pans or buffers, kind of stripping away the data we don't need is important, but I wanted to give my class everything in the state because they're working all around the state to start with. Um, so we're gonna turn off Wisconsin blocks and we have municipalities. Now I'm gonna quickly symbolize this a little differently so you can see what I'm talking about about the edges and why it's critical that we do intersect and not clip or within. So these blocks, some of these blocks extend far beyond the county. But if we calculate population per square mile and clip that, we've changed the area. So we'll be artificially in keeping the same total value of people, but because we reduce the area, we artificially inflated all of our population per square mile numbers. So a little bit of context in this case is not a bad thing in keeping the edges a little rough with the census blocks and not right on the red lines. So that's how to reduce our data to a more manageable file size. And so we can have our join in the next phase be much quicker. Thanks.